Recently on CBS2, there is a dangerous new drug quickly becoming more prevalent in New York. It's called xylazine, an animal tranquilizer mixed with fentanyl and other drugs. CBS2's investigative reporter Tim McNicholas dug deeper into how it's quickly spreading. Now police are trying to combat a drug that's technically still legal. Christine and Maurice, you said it. It's a sedative, a horse tranquilizer, not an opioid. That means anti overdose drugs like naloxone don't work on xylazine, or as it's called on the street, trank. And it's another example of an ingredient that makes it cheaper for the dealer, but more dangerous for the user. On a sunny day near Washington Square Park, a team working out of this van tries to save people from their darkest days. And this will tell you the presence of xylazine. Ashley Lynch with the Alliance for Positive Change hands out xylazine test kits so drug users can at least know whether their drug supply contains a sedative that's been causing severe tissue damage. The most alarming things we've seen are the wounds. Um, people have these gaping wounds on their bodies that you can like go as deep as the muscle. The U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration is testing two in a different way. The agency tests narcotics seized in drug busts like this one, in which investigators found a drug packaging mill in the Bronx. In an email to CBS2, the DEA's New York division said about 15% of those tests so far this year showed xylazine. And since the start of 2019, the DEA says the number of drug seizures containing xylazine has increased 586% in New York. And let's be very clear, this is a choice made by the street level dealer. This is a dealer's choice to mix in additives, adulterants like xylazine to continue to addict the young people, the most vulnerable. Just a few months ago, here in the Bronx, the DEA, the NYPD, and state police said they discovered fentanyl and heroin mixed with xylazine at another drug packaging mill. But the suspects only face charges for the fentanyl and heroin, not the xylazine. Right now, there's no penalty whatsoever because it's not illegal to possess. New York City Special Narcotics Prosecutor Bridget Brennan says more regulation could also help law enforcement nail down where xylazine is coming from. There's no tracking of it, as there would be if it was on the list of controlled substances. Do you think it should be on that list? Yeah. I think given the evidence that we have right now, the escalating deaths, uh, the way people are suffering with wounds to the body, I think it's time. It's always trying to adapt to the changes that the traffickers and the cartels are, are utilizing to uh, further their business. And the DEA tells CBS2 it is working with the FDA to get xylazine on the list of controlled substances as soon as possible. State lawmakers are also looking into a bill that would add it to New York's controlled substance list. That could mean stronger penalties for dealers mixing in xylazine. Christina Maurice.